Well, what is up, YouTube? Today, I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to look up ICD-10 PCS codes. These are inpatient hospital codes, and I'm going to give you a quick example of how to look these codes up in your coding manual. So the two steps that you do are use the index to find the main term to look up the first three characters and then use your tables to find the rest of the code. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So our example is excision of the right lower arm and wrist tendon. What do we look up first of these words? Because we're looking up a procedure, we are looking up the action word. What word is actually performing um, a particular type of function? Excision is a function. You are excising or taking something out. Words like destruction, debrement, those are different types of words you can look up as your key term. So we're looking up excision of the tendon. Our main section is the tendon. That is our body part. The descriptors are right, lower, and wrist. So we'll keep an eye out for those. But in ICD-10 PCS coding, we're looking up that main term when we're looking up surgery, our excision, and we then look up tendon. So let's see what we have there when we go to our coding book. So as our step said, we're going to look in our index of our book. If you're using a hard copy of the book, you're going to use the same thing. Go to the index and we're going to go to E to look up our excision. So I'm going to look up excision. And remember, we are looking for the excision category. I have found my category excision as my main action term, and now I'm going to look for tendon. So if you're looking in the index of your book, you're just going to flip to the T until you get to tendon. And it looks like here, excision of the tendon. I am looking for the lower arm and wrist, excision, tendon, lower arm and wrist. My example was of the right lower arm and wrist. So we're going to select that for the right lower arm and wrist. If you're using your book, you're going to get OLB5 in your index and you flip to the OLB table. Once you get to the OLB table, you will see the first three characters that you selected from the back of your book. Excision is our main term and the definition is here for you to confirm that you're in the right section. So our code was an surgery. It was an excision of that lower tendon of the lower arm and wrist open approach. So we're going to look at our table and we look for zero L B. Our first three characters of our code. Our next one is that lower tendon of the arm and wrist. So we're going to do lower tendon of the arm and wrist five open approach, zero, next device, Z, and qualifier, Z. It did not say it used a device. It did not say it used a qualifier. So let's look at our example and see how that looks all written out. Here's our example, everyone, of our excision of the right lower arm and wrist tendon. We have looked up our excision, went to tendon, and we're able to find lower arm and wrist. Because it is the right lower arm and wrist, we know we are going to 0LB5. 
we had gotten to our table. We went to zero LB5. We went down to our section here to find our lower arm and wrist tendon. Five, our open approach device and qualifier were not mentioned. So Z and Z as a placeholder. So our complete code, if you were coding this properly in our explanation would be 0LB50ZZ. If you are looking for more videos and more guidance on how to do ICD-10 PCS coding by using those guidelines, conventions, and examples, I will be coming up with the video soon. For those of you who are curious, put a link in the comments that you are interested in ICD-10 PCS, and I will do more videos and examples of this coding type system. My name is Carla of Carla's Career Coaching and Shortcuts. So make sure you come and join us for some more coding tips. All of these things that you know here will be on my website. Like, subscribe, and comment, and take care, everyone.